Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 2C in the How to Build series, and this is going to be a special tutorial for YouTube user Games Arsenal, who requested how to make a security lock door using chat commands. So we're going to use the same setup from last tutorial, 2B, and this is the same code that I left off with. Now, we're going to change whitelist to list, alright, in every instance, because I'm going to actually show you how to use the blacklist version of this first as a bonus to this video. So find exclude entities and we're going to have our list of initial conditions. For right now I'm just going to leave it blank. So first off, if you're a member, we to implement the uh, chat commands, we need the run on chat one, which I cover that in video 7C in the expression two series. And then we continue with if chat click owner, which remember saying if the owner says something in chat, then it'll return a 1. And we're going to say if owner last said equals to slash list. All right. And then we're going to do a bunch of stuff. So first off, we're going to use hide chat 1 to hide that slash list command. And then uh, we're going to say find clear blacklist, all right? And we're going to be doing this because right now, if, if there were people on the blacklist and we're trying to search for all the players, for example, on the map, it's going to include everything on the blacklist, so, or exclude everything on the blacklist, so we don't want that. We want to temporarily clear the blacklist, and that's why I'm doing this right now. And then remember, because there is a delay, uh, between search commands, or find commands rather, rather uh, you have to use some kind of timer or something in this case between the searches. So I'm going to use a timer called delay, it's one time timer, and then I'm going to say find update rate, and then I'm going to say plus the value 50, and I cover the update rate a little bit in tutorial 14a in expression 2 series. So after this timer goes and executes an execution of this chip, then we're going to say if click delay, which is saying if the execution of chip is a result of this timer delay, then we're going to do a bunch of commands again. So we're going to say find by class, because remember our blacklist is now cleared, so we can search for every player now. And then I'm going to set up a temporary array. I'm going to call it temp, and it's not going to be local to this if statement, so I need to declare it up here in um, my outputs right now, which I changed from persist in the last section, or last uh, tutorial video. And then from this array, or after that, I'm going to say print, enter the matching number of the player to add slash remove. All right. And now we're going to use a for loop, which I cover in tutorial 8 in expression 2 series. I'm going to say i is initialized to 0. Uh, we're going to count up to however many elements are in array temp. And then after that, we're going to say if i is greater than 0, just because we don't have index 0 in an array, so we don't want to print out the 0 result, then print i plus, then we're going to have a separation bar, plus temp. From array temp, I want the i entity, I th if that's a word, i th and then we're going to grab the entity data uh, name, and entity data is covered, or grabbing that data is covered in expression tutorial 5a for those curious. And now we're going to have a special variable, which I'm going to say pick is equal to 1. Now, pick is going to actually control um, whether the chat click is going to be in the stage of waiting for this list, or if it's going to be waiting for user input, which, remember, it says enter the matching number of players to add to remove. So it's suggesting that the user, or the owner of this chip, has to put in a number. So we're going to set pick equal to 1, and then set an else statement here. And this first if statement right here is going to be only done when pick is equal to zero. 
I'm going to need ampersand here. All right, so else if this is going to be when we're selecting the player that we want to add or remove to our blacklist. And actually, I'm sorry, before we even do, uh, do that, let's get back to this real quick. It's very important that I say this. Uh, we need find exclude. And then we're going to put entities in list. Because remember, we cleared the blacklist, which means the people we don't want inside of our door can now get inside of our door. So after this happens, after this mild delay happens, it's going to give you a list of all the entities and then after that list, since, uh, since that list is set in a temporary array, um, we can now set the blacklist back up so that players can't access our door again. All right. So then we go to our else if statement, which is going to be selecting the player. So we're going to say chat click owner, which is saying when the owner um, says anything in chat and when pick is equal to one, which it will be after this, then we're going to execute commands. All right. Well, first, um, the chat click implies that the owner put in some kind of input. All right. So if it's a number, we're just going to assume he put in some number. We're going to hide chat again because we would, uh, don't want people knowing uh, that we're putting in codes or commands or whatever. And then we're going to set a temporary value I, which is unique to this else if statement. It's local to the statement. And then we're going to say owner last said to number. All right. And I learned, uh, I'll show you how to convert string to data type in video 7b expression 2 series. So, all right. So we have if list, we're going to concatenate, which is from expression series, uh, video 6a in the series, all right? And we're going to separate it by that. And we're going to use find, which I cover in video 7a. And then we're going to have temp i entity and name. So grabbing that entity data again, all right? So this is going to search the entire list, which is our blacklist in this instance, um, for the name on the temp list. Or the, guy, or the person that we're referencing with the number, which is the input, all right? So um, after we find this, we're going to set up the if statement and do a bunch of commands. Uh, we're going to set up another loop, and we're going to say for when j equals 0, so variable j is going to be storing the data this time, not i, since we're already using it. And we're going to go to however many people are on our blacklist and then we're going to increment the value by one, all right? And then we're going to set up an if statement. If list j entity, which is our current um, person on the list being analyzed, is the same as the person that we're referencing on the temp list, then we're going to find clear blacklist. We're going to get a list remove index j um, from our array and then we're going to print that oh, no quote. then we're going to print that the entity rather the name of the entity has been removed all right and you remember from um, our prior tutorial on loops on video 8 that we use the break command when we no longer need the loop. So that's going to save us some time. All right, so you see this el uh, if statement's completely set up now. Now else, all right, if the person isn't on the list, all right, we're going to say list push entity to cover pushing and popping on the, uh, onto arrays in video 6b. Then we're going to say i entity, all right, and print temp i entity name has been added. 
and now we're going to say find exclude entities and now we're going to update our list with the newly added or removed person from this if, this if statement or this else statement. All right, and then we're going to set pick back to zero so we can do it again if we have to. So assuming there's no error in this, this should um, do exactly what we want and let's see how it works. Oh, there's an error. Let's be expected with the bunch of code. So our error is else, I need to see it again, that's kind of fast. I'm saying that it's not part of the if statement. Well, this is good. All right, so we have our for statement, it's closed. No, it's not. There we go, and there's the issue. You should always check your brackets if you're not really sure uh, what the error is, because that sometimes happens. All right, so now I'm going to get the debugger out. And to the top left, it's going to say all the stuff. That's why I put his outputs. Uh, notice temp at the, as the second to last value and list is the third to uh, last value. Those are the things you should focus. So let's type slash list. And there it gives a list of all the players on the map. I'm going to put one. And now I'm added to the blacklist. So the door is no longer opening for me. So let's type slash list again. And notice that spaz right there. Um, I'm going to get into part of the code right now and explain that. That's this delay. Um, it's opening and then immediately closing at the rate of this delay. That's because I ju the blacklist is cleared. I'm no longer on the blacklist, and it's opening. So that's why I said at the end of this, we really need to reset up that blacklist. It's very important. So set that up and put me back on the list. List one, list, and now I'm going to type one again. And now I'm off the blacklist, and I can go through the door again. All right, so now let's go over the whitelist variant of this. And as you can guess, you just find all the parts where you say find exclude entities, and we're going to replace that with find include entities. So it's mentioned here, and I see it here. And then you find uh, find clear blacklist, and now we're going to put find que uh, queer, <laughs> find clear whitelist. <laughs> Oh goodness, slipping here. All right, so other than that, I believe that should be just about everything. I got include, got good, good, good. Yeah, looking good. All right, so let's set it up, and this is the whitelist variant of it. So we have list one. Now I'm on the whitelist, so I can access the door, and everybody who else, or everybody else who isn't on the whitelist, can no longer access the door. When I remove myself from the list. I'm still able to access the door because nobody's on the whitelist. I'm the only player. So thus by default, um, it's just going to open for anybody. So to change that, we put list equals array owner. All right. And now by default, as you can see in the debugger list, it says uh, my entity implying that I'm on the whitelist. All right, so that's going to conclude the tutorial. I hope that helped, and uh, any more questions, feel free to ask. I'll catch you next time.